2012, I, I, I had this idea and I, I moved to Monaco and I, I thought that Monaco, for many reasons, was the perfect place to have a, such a glamorous event or an event uh, about polo. So uh, that's how I started and uh, I created the Monte Carlo Polo Club and uh, after that we had the first polo event in 2013 and after that the Federation from Argentina decided Monaco also should have their own uh, representative, their own ambassador, their own federation. They didn't have anything similar before and uh, they never had a polo event before so I, and not only that, I mean it was very nice because one afternoon I was walking in a casino square and I dreamt that it would be amazing to have a horse parade in casino square and that's where I, uh, I done, I mean I organized a, a nice horse parade. It's not always easy to, in a, such a, a short time uh, to have uh, 16 horses with uh, 16 polo players and, and try to organize in these. And once happened that one of the horses was very nervous, which absolutely can happen, uh, and uh, not easy. And I was very concerned because uh, I, I wanted to, that this event was, uh, you know, very calm and very relaxed. And but we saw this horse, and I said I was scared that you start to run around the casino square. And uh, but luckily it wasn't like that, so everything was fine. And the people actually they were very happy and excited to see all this. It's a four days event, so after the press conference and the presentation of the teams on, on Thursday, on Friday we have this beautiful horse parade in Casino Square, and after that we start the games in the afternoon. Saturday we play in the afternoon as well, and in the evening we have a, a charity gala dinner, like we did since the beginning, supporting uh, several different uh, organizations and, uh, and foundations. Starting with one of Princess Charlene, Princess Stephanie and many others. So what I'm saying to you is that we're very sensitive and we believe that uh, through the sport, through the polo, we should uh, support and, and try to help as much as possible because polo is such a noble sport and uh, so we have to do something noble. Monaco gives the opportunity for those they have uh, new ideas, good ideas, and special in sport because uh, our prince, Monseigneur, is a very sporty, is an Olympic athlete, so and that's why uh, they, they, very, uh, they support people, they, they want to organize events, new events, there are many, many events, hundreds and hundreds of events uh, every year in Monaco, so it shows that uh, um, they, they support People, they, they, they have uh, new ideas and, and they want to bring some, something new for, in Monaco. In 2013, actually, we started, we opened the school, but then we decided to, uh, to have our, our own location because this location was uh, next to, to Monaco, and actually just outside Monaco. But it was no error, we, we rented this place. And it was a beautiful location, but um, we always wanted to have our own club, our own uh, uh, riding school and, and polo school, of course. So that's why we're moving in that direction. And 